Hi, I'm Prepper Kiwi Carolyn. Hi, I'm Prepper Kiwi Rose. In this series, we'll be talking about hunting and bushcraft. Hey guys, I'm just here about to dig up my goat's horns um, from a hunt that we did near the end of last year. So what I've done is I've actually, we've cut the head off the goat and I've actually buried the, there's two heads here off a big old billy goat. Um, I thought the horns were really impressive, I wanted to keep them. So I've buried them in my garden just to let the actual flesh off the head decompose. And then um, there is, you can boil them as well, but it's really a bit disgusting and you need like a massive pot and stuff. So it's easier just to bury them. Um, so I'm just about to dig them up. I don't, I've got no idea what kind of condition that they're gonna be in. And then we'll, we'll just have a look and um, go from there with um, how to preserve the horns properly. And if you wanna keep, put them on display and things like that. So here we go. can probably actually just pull. I think I could smell them last time I was here. Yeah, they stank really badly for quite a long time. I wasn't sure if it was my imagination because I knew they were there. Oh, see. Oh. That's actually completely. Let's just move back so I can see that. So you pulled that. You pulled that off. Yep. Wow. Okay. It's not bad. So it started to, it's actually started to rot. Could have come out before then. It could have come out earlier. So what I'm hoping is that, see the points are no. started. Yeah, I thought that might be the case. I thought I might have left it in for a bit longer. The, the horns are quite soft. Um, these could probably be repurposed for a drinking horn or something, you know. <laughs> um, let's see what the other one looks like. The other one was slightly bigger, I think. Oh, that one's coming out really clean. So the horns weren't below the ground that much, were they? Nah, so you don't want to... Um, you don't want them to be in the ground too much because they'll just rot from all the, the moisture. So that, yeah, the horns need to be sticking like above the ground. Yeah, so that's what it looks like when it's been in the ground for two months, two and a half months. There's still like hair on there. But, you know, that's what you want really. I mean, you want all of that. It's no longer, when I put it in there, it's still flesh and hair and everything. It's still quite stinky. Still got that like decomposing, oh, just a nice bit of um, maggoty, you know, flesh. There's a little mites and maggots and stuff in there. So um, what I'll be doing is, I mean, they're still in good enough shape to preserve, I think. So I'll just be giving them, like bleaching them basically, giving them a clean and figuring out um, what I'm going to do with them, some kind of, you know, ritual sacrifice or something. Just kidding. Um, yeah, look, there's, there's a bit of a jaw, jaw bones there. Yeah, so, um, Probably don't leave them in the ground as long as as I did. But to f just figuring all that stuff out, this is the first time I've done this. So um, yeah, the next video will be how we're gonna preserve these, how we're gonna clean them, and and then we'll put them up on the wall looking real nice. So join us for the next one. See you next time. See you next time.